so hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the monkey games a lot channel i am your host monkey master and as you can see we are back here with another episode of monkey land it is nice and early in the morning as you can not see but as you can see the sun is just rising and um, in the last episode i said that today's agenda would we'll be going um, desert temple hunting and that's exactly what we're going to be doing so just before we start I'm going to craft myself some bread just going to split it into doot and doot there we go um, I'm going to put that away it's got lots of food just in case I get a little bit hungry and nom 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 we got a pickaxe an axe and a sword. I think that should be everything we need. So I am going to go off <laughs> desert temple hunting. Um, so obviously we're going to have to go into the desert for this. Obviously that's what it's called, a desert temple. Why am I even telling you this? Um, so I think we're going to run mainly in this direction. Oh, that are carrots already. This is not good. Um, hopefully we found something. Because desert temples do have a chance of like giving you um, saddles and stuff, and I would like saddle a saddle particularly because I want to be able to ride my horse Ace around. Um, so yeah, um, that's a cave. Oh, <gasps> found one <laughs> already! This is amazing. Right, let us go see what we have found. Have we hit the jackpot? So if it looks like I'm not controlling it because I'm trying to reset the timer. Um, do, do, do. We need to go in this direction. This is very exciting. I um, do rather like myself a desert temple because it gives me lots of loot. Well, most of the time. Hopefully it does this time. Right. Now, what we need to do... Oh, I didn't bring any blocks with me. Oh, that's annoying. Right. Um, mm, 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 what's the best way of doing this? Um... I think I'm just going to dig away some sand just so I can like safely drop down. This might take a little while though. And just using my bare fist, um, I'm going to just get to sandstone level or not stone level. Um, so I'm going to dig some of this stone away. Right, um, I think that should be kind of enough material. There we go. Now we need to dig this one block away. And now it's time to go. No, it didn't want to place you, Mr. Block. Now I'm going into the crafting area. Got a little mushroom, very nice. Uh, very, very nice. Um, and let's start breaking some blocks away. Right, there we go. There's the stone pressure plate in the middle. Um, the best way to get down, I think I'm going to dig that away. And I'm going to start staircasing down like this. Now, obviously, we do definitely not want to stand on that pressure plate. Because that pressure plate activates the bunch of TNT that is underneath this desert temple. And underneath every desert temple, for that matter of fact. So I want to break it away. And now to go underneath and i want to break all of this tnt see i've got a cool i've got a lovely desert temple and i've got some tnt woohoo just resetting the timer let's um let's put some sandstone around here unfortunately we've got no torches probably should have bought some torches um no we don't we don't want to block there we can just put a block all right what we got got some iron horse armor and bones Bones can always be useful. Gonna leave the rotten flesh there. Maybe he likes rotten flesh. Oh, golden apple. We've got some gold horse armor. Um, gunpowder, sand. Those are always useful. Spider eyes for potions. Rotten flesh again. Diamonds. See, if I'd have just come here, I wouldn't have had that entire fiasco of trying to get diamonds. And come on, come on. We wanted a saddle. Oh, got a book. Got a not black book. Very good. No saddle though. That's annoying. Um. I'm not sure what the chance of getting two desert temples per desert 
is um, if I like break that way, I'll put some sand there. I think I can now safely get back up. Oh no! I'm trying to control the timer with one hand and control this with the other hand. There we go, back up to the top. So that was pretty successful. We got another five minutes, so um, I think I'll just have a quick run in this direction, see if I can spot anything anything else maybe maybe desert village or maybe even another desert temple like i said i'm not really sure what the chances of two desert temples spawning um in the same desert are not really sure if there are any chances i'm not sure if it's just like chances overall and like if you've got a big desert you can get maybe even up to three i'm not sure um let's keep running because this desert's pretty big i'll probably find something else if not a desert temple, then maybe a desert village or something. Um, mm, I'm gonna keep running in this direction. If we can't find anything over here, we'll run in that direction. It's a very big desert. I can't see anything which is not good and um, let's climb up to the top of that I might be able to see all the way around up we go and um, break it away don't be using my sword that will just use up precious swordness um, now I want to switch back to the sword can I see anything? Let's just let the chunks load in. Let's scan. Nope, can't see anything right now, I think. Should I keep running in that direction? Or should I start running in that direction? Let's have a vote. That direction. Good decision, people. Let us go down. So we are slowly but surely running out of time for this episode, which is slightly annoying. Um, it's just the way that these episodes work. If you didn't know, the software I use to record these videos has a time limit on how long you can record for um it's a bit annoying it's time limit of 10 minutes which is annoying but it's just how it works um so we've got about one minute left before i'll have to cut this video off um so probably in the next episode i'll still be in the desert searching for more desert temples or just desert goodies like desert villages and stuff can't see anything it was very lucky we got a couple more diamonds that means we have enough for a diamond sword and a diamond pickaxe which is very very good because i do like myself a diamond sword but i also like myself a lovely diamond pickaxe i'm not sure i think we're coming up to the savannah over here this isn't good oh this is so laggy <laughs> Mm, nope um right so i think it's almost time to cut this episode off so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start the next episode all the way up there gonna have a quick look around if i can't see anything i'll start heading back home with my lovely collection of goodies um still no saddle still very annoying um but yeah that's what i'm gonna do in the next episode but now it's time to cut this episode off so i hope you have all enjoyed this episode and um and that you come back for the next one which there will be a link to in the description but until then i will see you all later goodbye